There is one challenge that has driven automotive engineers for the past hundred years. How do you build a high quality, consistent automobile while also doing it as quickly and as cheaply as possible? In the 20th century, Henry Ford changed the world with his solution, the assembly line. Now in the 21st century, Elon Musk has his own revolutionary answer, the Gigapress. This all starts with a crusty old engineer named Sandy Monroe. He spent decades working in the automotive industry, and now he's made a business out of buying new vehicles and then tearing them down to their base components, all while meticulously pointing out everything that the automaker did wrong, or could have done better. He strikes a good balance between grumpy old man and constructive criticism. When Monroe and his team got their hands on a Tesla Model 3 back in 2018, they were split on Elon Musk's new invention. While the team found that the battery pack and power electronics were next level alien technology, they also found that the construction of the vehicle body and frame was absolute garbage. The main reason being that the unibody construction of the old Model 3 was just a hodgepodge of little bits all stuck together with robotic welds and glue. They found a laundry list of parts that were overlapping, redundant, unnecessary, and oversized. This showed a lack of cohesive design and an inefficient manufacturing process that would be more expensive and more time consuming than necessary. Now, Elon could have easily just shrugged off that criticism and moved on. Elon puts rockets into outer space, what does some crusty old man in a garage know? But that's not what he did. Instead, Musk heard Monroe's advice for what it was, and he took that to heart. He admitted in a later interview, quote, As Sandy accurately pointed out, the rear of the Model 3 looks like a patchwork quilt. It's not great. So when it came time to design the new Model Y structure, Elon adopted a philosophy that would become one of his key mantras going forward. The best part is no part. The Model Y rear frame replaced the patchwork quilt with just two high-pressure aluminum castings joined at the center line. But Elon wasn't done yet. He also said that by the end of 2020, Tesla would transition to a single-piece casting that integrates the two rear crash rails. When Sandy Monroe heard that statement, he could only get one word out of his mouth. He said, quote, in his effort to show up one grumpy old man, Elon found inspiration in a Hot Wheels toy version of the Model S that was sitting on his office desk. Hot Wheels are made from die-cast metal or injection molding. That's why they're so cheap and plentiful. Elon wondered, could I build a real Tesla in a very similar way? Looking through the catalog of industrial die-casting machines, Elon couldn't find anything that would handle an entire vehicle frame section in a single shot. The best he could do was build it in two halves. So that's where he started with the Model Y. It was good, but he knew that it could be better. Elon called up the five largest die casting machine builders in the world and asked them if they could make him a new class of product that would have double the power of anything else on the market. Four of them said no, and one said maybe. Elon said, that sounds like a yes. Build that machine and Tesla will buy it. Then we'll buy more will buy as many as you can possibly make. The company that recognized a gold mine when they saw one was an Italian manufacturing firm called Idra, and their new product was the Gigapress. Another one of Elon's production mantras is the machine that builds the machine. Looking around his Fremont, California plant, Tesla had a standing army of robots, hundreds of small machines. But what if you could replace them all with one monolithic device, a singular, car building machine. Elon drew up a sketch of what that might look like a few years ago. There's a finished car body in the middle with four casting presses coming in from all angles. I'm not sure how feasible that idea is from an engineering perspective. It doesn't look very realistic, but that's the concept in its purest form. As we continue to look at the incredible logistics and innovation of the Gigapress, I want to tell you about a company and product that won numerous awards because of innovation and outstanding technologies 
for you. If you struggle to find the perfect gift for your significant other, we have the solution. Bear is a product that is guaranteed to make your significant other feel loved and pampered. Bear is the world's first FDA cleared medical microcurrent device with anti-shock system. It's a smart Swedish designed device that delivers professional level facelift results right in the comfort of your home. With a rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars on Trustpilot and 4.4 out of 5 stars on Sephora, Bear is a product that has already proven to be a hit with customers. 92% of Sephora customers who have tried Bear would recommend it to a friend, so you know you'll be the talk of the town amongst your significant other's friends in the best way possible. In just two minutes a day, Bear tones and firms the 69 facial and neck muscles, visibly improving signs of aging and delivering real results. 90% of users notice visible improvement in just one week, making it the perfect gift for anyone looking to take their skincare routine to the next level. The average cost of a facial is anywhere from $150 to $200 per session, so you can save a ton of money by utilizing Bear at home. And with video instructions showing you exactly what to do, you can even use it yourself with ease. So if you're struggling to find the perfect gift for your significant other, look no further than Bear. Check the description below and visit the link to purchase your Bear today for your special someone. Idris Gigapress was the first step towards a solution. This die casting machine gave Elon the power he required to cast the entire rear quarter of the frame in a single piece, and it could do the same for the front quarter as well, an even larger and more complex component. At the time it was introduced, the Model Y Gigapress was by far the largest casting machine in the world, both by size and by strength. The machine has the volume of a small house. It was so gigantic that it wouldn't even fit inside the Tesla Fremont factory. They had to just drop it in the parking lot and operate under a makeshift roof structure. In terms of strength, we measure die casting machines by their clamping force. In order to create a new piece, the machine will inject molten aluminum into a die, which is a hollowed out mold with two halves cut into the shape of the part that you want to cast. The larger the part, the larger the die, and the larger the die halves are, the more pressure is going to be required to hold them together while the liquid metal is being pumped inside. The Model Y casting dies required 6,000 metric tons of clamping pressure. The previous most powerful casting machine had maxed out between 3 and 4,000, so this wasn't just an incremental notch up, this was a step change for the entire casting industry. The Gigapress is an all-in-one casting solution. It features a melting oven that will liquefy solid aluminum at 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then the mixture is purified by removing the slag or aluminum oxide from the top. The molten aluminum is then treated with argon gas to further remove impurities and move through a silicon carbide filter to eliminate any remaining particles larger than 25 micrometers. The dye mold is prepared with a thin coating of soybean oil, just like greasing your baking pan, and then a vacuum is used to remove air from inside the mold. The metal is pumped in with a high-speed plunger like a syringe needle, and the casting is formed. This action takes less than one second to complete. The clamp releases the two halves of the mold, and a robot picks up the casted section, which has now cooled to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, the part goes into a water bath to bring it down to a reasonable temperature. Finally, the excess material is trimmed from the casting and is x-ray checked for quality. Then, lastly, there is a final matching phase that adds the fine details like threading for fasteners. The speed of this operation is mind-boggling. At its peak run rate, the Gigapress can produce one casting every 45 seconds with a maximum output of 1,000 castings per day. These Gigapress machines are now ubiquitous across Tesla Gigafactories and have changed the landscape of the production line. Compared to the Model 3 design, the rear casting in the Model Y replaces 70 different parts with one single part. On the production floor, that translates to replacing 300 robots with one single machine. As they introduce the front casting to the Model Y, that will eliminate another 300 robots. So, we are seeing Elon's vision come to life, working towards a singular machine that builds the machine. 
also wanted to give a quick shout out to our amazing Discord community. Here is our question of the week, and this was our favorite answer. And here is the meme of the week winner. Join our Discord community to participate next week through the link in the description below. Now, if we're talking about the giga casting process, then we also need to give a mention to the Tesla material science that helps to make it all possible. Not only is the machine a unique invention, so is the metal alloy that gets injected into it. In order to take full advantage of the casting process, Tesla invented their own specialized aluminum alloy metal. By creating a blend of metals, you can customize the properties to meet a specific purpose. This is exactly what SpaceX did with their Falcon 9 rocket. The body uses an alloy of aluminum and lithium that creates the strongest aluminum metal in the world. For the Giga casting, Tesla needed a metal that offered more than just brute strength. There were a lot of boxes that needed to be checked off, and luckily for them, Charles Kuman, the head of material engineering at SpaceX, was willing to perform double duty and helped Tesla design their casting formula. The Giga casting alloy prioritizes not just strength, but it also has to flow smoothly in liquid form, have incredible corrosion resistance and ductility. The enhanced flowability of the alloy means that Tesla does not have to perform a heat treating process on the Giga castings after they come out of the die. Other large castings require a few hours of baking in an oven to soften the metal and collapse any small air pockets or porosity that may have developed inside the structure. Those tiny gaps will eventually lead to cracking under stress, but if you're confident that your casting process is not producing those porous voids to begin with, then there's no need for heat treating. This, of course, saves a lot of time and money on the production floor. The corrosion resistance is obviously important when we're talking about a vehicle that is going to be exposed to the elements, and in the case of northern states and countries, it's going to see a lot of highly corrosive road salt. By enhancing the natural corrosion resistance for the metal, you can eliminate the need for anodizing or coating the casted pieces with an extra layer of protection. Giga castings are installed raw without even any paint applied. Ductility is basically the opposite of brittle, so a brittle metal can still be incredibly strong, but it will snap when overloaded. A ductile metal will have some flex to it. You don't want this casting to crack because once it's integrated into the vehicle body, it does not come back out. So you want to make sure that the amount of force required to crack the casting would be so much that the entire car would be destroyed anyways. So we know that the future for Tesla manufacturing is the gigapress casting process. The only question is how far they can take it. With the coming production of the Cybertruck, Tesla is installing an even more powerful gigapress machine in their Austin, Texas factory, now reaching 9,000 metric tons of clamping force. Remember that the reason to increase strength is to increase the size of the die casting mold, so the casted component of the Cybertruck will be 50% larger than the Model Y front casting. As for whether Tesla will ever be able to form an entire vehicle frame with a single machine, that will be preposterously difficult to achieve, but we can't rule it out. The company will soon be revealing the details on their next generation vehicle platform, a car that is smaller than the Model 3 and can be manufactured at twice the speed for half the price. We have to think that Giga casting will inevitably play a major role in accomplishing that feat. Let us know your thoughts below. Could Tesla ever form an entire car in a single shot just like Elon's Hot Wheels? What do you think that vehicle might look like? Drop those theories below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.